What is up, Press Play Every Day? My name is Abby. I'm your Tuesdays here. And this week, um, our theme is ideal dates on Valentine's Day, I guess, because Valentine's Day is this Saturday. Whoop whoop, forever alone. Snapping makes every situation more comfortable. I planned a really nice video for you guys and then I didn't plan enough time for me to actually film and edit this video. What I'm going to be doing today kind of strays a little bit away from the ideal date, but it still stays in the category of Valentine's Day, um, so I apologize if that pisses anyone off, or I don't know, but I, I really apologize. So what I thought I would do is since I'm really HPAF, and on Valentine's Day I have plans with my friend Shelby to have a Harry Potter marathon. I thought that I would go on the Harry Potter wiki and look up anything that is related to love, maybe read you guys some really inspirational quotes, and talk to you about a really effective way to get your unattainable Valentine to be your actual Valentine. First, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Valentine's Day and the history of Valentine's Day in the wizarding world. It says, Valentine's Day, or St. Valentine's Day, is an occasion celebrated on February 14th in both the Muggle and the wizarding world. It's a traditional day on which people express their love for each other, particularly romantic love by sending Valentine's cards, presenting flowers, or offering sweets. During Valentine's Day, the Great Hall is decorated with large pink flowers and heart-shaped confetti falls all over the place, kind of like the floating candles, which I think is really, really cute. And um, people s celebrate it basically the same way that we would celebrate it here, I know from personal experience. Something that I'm really upset that they didn't put in the movie is on Valentine's Day, um, Harry received a lot of Valentines, but he received one very special one from uh, Miss Jenny Weasley, and it sang, and I don't know how that song goes, obviously because they didn't put it in the movies, but I'll just read you the lyrics because I think this is really hilarious. It says, his eyes are green as a fresh pickled toad, his hair is as dark as a blackboard, I wish he was mine, he's really divine, the hero who conquered the Dark Lord. Honestly, thinking about giving that to the guy I want to be my valentine this year, even though he already rejected me, but it's okay. Something really special about Valentine's Day for Mr. Harry Potter himself is that his first and only date with Cho Chang was on Valentine's Day. So basically the date went really bad because Pansy Parkinson um, shouted, uh, wow, your taste sucks, at least Cedric Diggory was good looking. Cedric is dead. Uh, something really funny, if you guys know who Gilderoy Lockhart is, as you guys all know, he's a big phony and a fraud, but he's also a really big attention whore, so when he was a student at Hogwarts, on Valentine's Day, to get the attention of his peers, he attempted to send himself 800 Valentine's Day cards, which caused breakfast to be cancelled due to the number of bird droppings. So basically, Gilderoy Lockhart was a genius because he didn't look alone, but he ruined everyone else's day because nobody gets any food and people like food. So basically, now that I've given you some history about Valentine's Day at Hogwarts, this is my number one way to get your Valentine to fall in love with you. You might know where I'm going with this, but this is probably what I'm gonna do, is slip my Valentine some Almortentia, which is the strongest love potion in the world. Almortentia causes powerful infatuation or obsession from the drinker, and um, basically its effects cause them to act like an obsessed fangirl, so that's pretty great. I think that would be really funny if you slipped it to a famous person and then they fangirled over you, I don't know. Almortentia is really, really awesome because it has a different aroma for every person. This aroma reminds the person of what they are attracted to, um, whether that person acknowledges it or not. Like, for me, it would probably smell something like a cup of noodles and mac and cheese and um, like strawberry shampoo. My plan for Valentine's Day is to slip the guy I like some Almortentia in the form of a really cute Valentine's Day cookie and then he will ask me to go out on a date with him and we will make out while watching Harry Potter because I love Harry Potter 
and um, that was just a really weird sentence. I hope you guys semi enjoyed this video. I really apologize for the sucky content. Um, I'm gonna manage my time better. It's gonna happen. I promise. So yeah, anyway, um, I hope you guys have an awesome Valentine's Day, whether you are celebrating it with your significant other, or your friends, or your cats or dogs, or pet teacup pigs. Um, and yeah, um, I will see you guys next Tuesday with hopefully a better thought out video. Um, I love you guys so much, and um, I'm going to leave you with this powerful quote from Hector Dogworth Granger on love potions and it says powerful infatuations can be induced by the skillful potioner but never yet has anyone managed to create the truly unbreakable eternal unconditional attachment that alone can be called love honestly you guys shouldn't feel bad if you don't have a valentine because my valentine is a cardboard cutout of Norman Reedus. We are such a cute couple. Honestly, I don't know what's happening right now.